How's it going, guys? So, with my car being lowered significantly, uh, one of the issues I was having is my headlights not beaming on the road uh, good enough. So, like, with these, well, they were HIDs. I converted them to LED, which wasn't a hard process. But uh, they just, the, the cutoff line was extremely short. I mean, I think I may have had maybe 10 to 15, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe a car length, a car and a half of uh, visibility in front of me before the cutoff line. So um, I definitely wanted to address that. Um, I looked online to ha for how to adjust these because these have the adaptive, uh, I believe they have the adaptive leveling and the adaptive, uh, well, I don't know if it's adaptive, but they, they have the, the headlights that turn with the steering wheel. So, um, so I didn't see any videos that did cover the M37 or the Q70 as far as adjusting them. So I kind of had to do it myself. I seen one video with a G37 2013 year and it uh it kind of gave me an idea where to look but it didn't it wasn't th this car doesn't have the same layout so try to get the camera in there all right you see that that box with that plug and it's got that kind of off white plastic head that is for your up and down um, there's another adjustment which is a little bit different. Let's see if I can see it. I don't even know where I'm looking. I'm in here. I did everything from the outside. Um, right there, behind that blue uh, covering. That has a black round ring, and I believe I have it over. Over here, I just crushed it. Because on the G37, the guy said he had to crush some plastic piece off. That's it right here. Okay, so that is for your left and right. So don't mess with that. You want to mess with that box that has that plug and that off-white screw. It's an 8 millimeter. Um, let's see it. Yeah, that... That's an eight millimeter and counterclockwise on the passenger side. And I believe clockwise on the driver or counterclockwise on the driver's side, my fault. And clockwise on the uh, passenger side. Now, uh, it's kind of hard. Well, it's impossible to get to uh, with me. Um, you know, I got thicker arms and shit. But it was impossible for me to get to it from here. So the only way to get to it was from inside the, the the fender well, as if you were changing the light. And so I had to jack up my car. So when I first adjusted them, I just, I, I used my house while it was in the air, uh, sitting on jack stands. And I adjusted them equally up, but I, w I went too far. So a little bit goes a long way. Um, with my car being lower, of course it had to go up, uh, and I, I would say the car was maybe 10 feet away from the, the house jacked up and I went up a maybe about four inches on, in height from the bottom of, from the top of where the beam originally hit the wall to the final. Then I adjusted the fog lights. The fog lights are a lot easier. Uh, the driver's side is a little bit harder to get to, but on the bottom of the fog lights, there's this little round hollow type uh, gear, and you can just turn it. I can't remember which way. I just kind of did it by sight. I want to say the driver's side was uh, turning it counterclockwise from being on, on the bottom. I don't, I don't remember if the, the passenger side was the opposite. But there you go. They are adjustable. 
they are. They haven't changed. Like the the adaptive part about it, it, it hasn't like changed it out. So they are set where I had them at. Visibility is 100% better. I mean, it's actually way better now, especially with the fogs. I adjusted the fogs to go up to the bottom of the beam on the wall, and it was too high. Like literally, I, I tested it with my wife because people were flashing me like crazy. But I tested it with my wife on the road, and she said my when I turn my fog lights on, they're brighter than my high beam. So I had to bring them back down, and I brought the I brought them to the bottom of the light from the headlights. So not necessarily the strong part of the beam, but like where the light kind of just fades out. I brought the, the 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 strong part of the beam to where it faded out, just to kind of like keep the flow going. And nobody's flashing me, and I mean the road is lit up from one side of the road to the next so hopefully this helps one of y'all the m37 and the q70 that looks like this for sure you can adjust them um the later years i'm not sure uh, just pop open your uh, your little covers and see if you have that but those ones with the round plastic leave them alone <laughs> because if you start throwing that off then you're throwing the beam you know direction off i don't know if it's going to mess with the the, the part that when it turns left and right with your steering wheel but I right, man just a little quick video to get some people through that process something I had to do everything else is good as you can see the ride is still the same um, all right man till next time